Bay Area school districts are scrambling to get a plan together as officials, teachers, and parents debate the safest way to reopen. We have team coverage tonight. Eight on your side, Stacey De Silva is in Polk County. But first, let's get out to Christine McClarty in Pinellas County, where district leaders are detailing their plan. Christine. We've been listening to the school board workshop meeting since 9.30 this morning, and it just ended a few minutes ago. They've discussed all kinds of details about reopening schools, from the cleaning of classrooms and buses to how to handle positive cases, but not everyone's on board. Take a look at this sign. Many teachers have been placing signs out here all day. This one says, rest in peace, Miss Pruitt. She, the cause of death, politics, greed, and COVID-19. I feel like the school board is asking me to choose between my children and my kids. Katie Neeser is a high school math teacher with two kids of her own in the district. She stood outside the meeting protesting schools reopening at all. I want my children to be safe. I'm their mother. I want my kids to be safe. I do what I do because I love them. And having to choose between the two is intolerable. The Pinellas County Superintendent says they're making decisions in conjunction with medical professionals. All buses and classrooms will be given cleaning supplies and students will be social distancing as much as possible. We got to lead with safety and safety is going to be defined as, um, as keeping the class teacher ratios lower so that we can have that social distancing with the mask. So if we just pile in 10 more students, we might have solved one problem, we create another one. There are about 100,000 students in the county, 55% of which are enrolled in traditional face to face classes, 41% My PCS Online, and 3% virtual. Today, they discussed mask details. Everyone must wear one except kids four years old and younger. And even though the general rule is you must wear a mask at all times, there will be times that <coughs> both students and employees will be able to take breaks. The exceptions are you don't have to wear a mask when actively eating and drinking, doing strenuous physical activity, or are in a room alone. Everyone isn't convinced it will work. All it takes is for the art teacher or the music teacher to get sick, and then all of a sudden, it's been spread to God knows how many classrooms. So as of now, a school in Pinellas County is set to start on August 24th. Now, again, we want to reiterate the workshop just ended within the last few minutes. And the actual school board meeting, the special called school board meeting, is happening tonight. That's set to start in just a few minutes from now. Stay with 8 on your side for the latest on that. We'll have more coming up at 6. Reporting live in Largo, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.